Welcome to this update of the Kia at Cold Hawaii PWA World Cup. I'm sitting here with Klaas Vogt to my left and uh, tell me a little bit about the situation at the moment, Klaas. Well, I'm up here um, for about 10 days already, been training, getting ready for the World Cup and uh, felt pretty good. And uh, we have a pile of boards here, so everything set up. And then in the last training session uh, two days ago, I got stuck with my foot in the back strap in a little sucky wave in the evening and uh, that wave just took my board pretty unexpected and flipped it over and uh, broke one of my bones in the middle of my foot here and uh, well now it's pretty swollen everything I can do is just wait and see how the swelling goes um, it's the second metatarsal so it's not it's a bit protected by the other bones so maybe there's hope to to tape it together somehow to stabilize it but um, right now it doesn't look too good for me okay i'm sorry to hear that it looks like we're going to have a quite a, a windy week here in the next couple of uh, days here and the beginning of the week especially um, how do you see yourself uh, how do you see your chances of uh, actually being able to compete well right now i feel my foot uh, not really in the in the mood to compete to step in a foot strap on a windsurf board um, the, f the forecast looks amazing that's what hurts me especially um, it looks like it's going to be southwest in the first day even a bit south southwest like almost cross offshore the conditions i love and uh, i try to to work as hard as i can or to lift my foot to relax as hard as i can um, to get the swollen the, the swollen part down and um, try to be able to compete but right now I think it's it's probably not going to work out um, I will see what the doctors say on uh, Sunday Monday Lars and, and Stefan Gobesch are here they are orthopedic experts and uh, they will take a closer look on Monday morning and tell me if I should try it or not now uh, we were just inside just before we started this interview and we had a look at uh, your your table inside and looked like you almost had a whole pharmacy sitting in there. Are you? Do you think that you'll be able to get pumped up so that uh, that will be able to take the pain away so you can actually start on Monday morning? Yeah, I guess uh, the guys are able to put the the to get uh, get me fine for the pain. Um, I just I'm just not sure if it will do my foot any good for the future. And uh, we have another World Cup coming up after this one, which is World Cup Zilt. Uh, also really an important event for me and um, if I can't start here then I definitely will try to start on Zilt so uh, I don't really want to take too much risk um, to hurt my foot for the future to I still need to walk on it for the rest of my life so but if they say it's going to be okay it's not going to damage the bone anymore any further to uh, if I'm competing then I, I will probably try it but let's see how it goes yeah, well, as uh, as you said it yourself, uh, just before the interview here, uh, Slater actually won a contest at uh, Topo, so maybe you'll be able to uh, do the same here in Klipmüller. Um, you've been coming to Klipmüller for quite a while, and you also know all the guys on tour here. Who do you think is going to be doing uh, well here in the contest? I guess uh, pretty much the guys we've seen up all year. Um, Philip Köster has been in the top form. He's been competing in Gran Canaria and... Tenerife on a different jumping level and also in this wave riding he really improved from last year so he's going to be the man to beat and then uh, for sure Victor Fernandez who's staying here with me um, he's been he's dialed up for the contest he's he has all his boards ready he's in in the mood of of Kletmüller competition and last year we've seen an amazing run-up he did uh, I think 11 heats in a row and finished in second I think he could have won the contest with a bit more strength and uh, those two guys are probably hard to beat. And then there's other guys who are always up there, like uh, Cowley. Um, he will do good. He won it last year. Then uh, Brazinho, he's also here already for a couple of days. And those guys are the guys to watch, I think. Yeah, and uh, looking at the forecast, it looks like it's going to be a pretty amazing week here. Um, what do you think is in store for us uh, during next week? Do you think it's going to be, uh, be a good contest? I'm pretty sure it's going to be a sick contest, yeah. I mean, the first day is going to start with really good wave riding. 
And then uh, the wind's gonna swing more west northwest, so I think we're gonna see some insane jumping like we've seen last year in the super sessions. Um, I'm hoping a little bit, if I can't compete, to s at least see some crazy action. Uh, I'm pretty sure if the conditions are there, the guys will go for go for it. Maybe we see we're gonna see another attempt of the triple forward from uh, Philip or Ricardo. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Cool. Um, so I guess uh, the general consensus is it's going to be an amazing week here in Clipmiller next uh, the next few days here, and uh, hope to see you guys all following it online. And I wish you uh, the best of luck with your injury and uh, for the contest class.